Marvel Studios reportedly eyeing Rami Malek for Fantastic Four's Silver Surfer. Yo, yo, YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another Comic John News Brief. It's been a while since we did a little news brief, but this news just smacked me right in the face. So this story coming from CheatSheet.com. Showbiz Cheat Sheet, Marvel Studios. Huh? Ever since Fox Disney merger place, former Fox entities under Kevin Feige's ownership fans have been anticipating two groups of heroes. Who will they team up against? Who will they fight? How will they play into the ever-expanding narrative? Which characters will serve as the gateway to on-screen depictions of some of our favorite comic book heroes? The Silver Surfer may just bring a new wave of familiar faces. So, this is easily one of my favorite Silver Surfer comic stories, and it actually really gets into the uh, the motives of Thanos and why he's so obsessed with getting the Infinity Stones. But Silver Surfer, this is why I'm excited about Rami Malek playing Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer is this like <clears throat> really mental character from from my interpretation. My interpretation of Silver Surfer is that he is just in an ongoing struggle within himself. Obviously, he's the herald of Galactus, which means he's kind of like the hitman for like the most evil guy in the galaxy, the most evil evil guy ever who eats planets. So Silver Surfer kind of is like wrestling with that his whole, you know, basically his entire existence. So anyway, according to Marvel and DC insider Mikey Sutton, Silver Surfer's solo installment is on the horizon, meaning Galactus' most famous herald could serve to introduce both the Fantastic Four and the MCU's next big bad. If the Silver Surfer comes first, Galactus is sure to follow suit which will lead to the family of supers intimately familiar with both characters. So Mikey Sutton took to geekosity, all things pop culture, to share his latest intel surrounding the Fantastic Four and associated characters, and it looks like the MCU, departing from Fox's former iterations, plan to introduce an associated character before, before presenting the, the Fantastic Four. Sutton stated, His name is Norrin Rad. A young astronomer from Zen La. When Galactus suddenly appears, wanting needing to consume his world, Rad makes a deal with him to prevent their existence from ending up in his digestive system, which sort of sounds like the end of Doctor Strange. Rad becomes Galactus's herald, the Silver Surfer, his galactic scout and searching for planets to feast on. This origin is among the classic tragedies of the Marvel Comics during the Silver Age, and Kevin Feige is planning on adapting it to the MCU. This is awesome. Again, I'm just gonna say, Silver Surfer is one of my favorite characters just because he is like the ultimate example of self-reflection. Uh, Sutton goes on to explain that rather than introducing the character within a group of individuals, he will receive the MCU cream of the crop, the solo film, meaning the character could continue on to boast a franchise or operate similarly to the Hulk and Black Widow in which he appears in multiple mashups yet rarely, if ever again, appears as the sole focal point. Finally, Mr. Sutton goes on to note that while casting has not yet been confirmed, the man behind Freddie Mercury and Bohemian Rhapsody may come to embody the Silver Surfer. That is until CGI basically alters his entire appearance. <laughs> Sutton stated, while no casting has begun, sources say that Oscar and Rami Malek is, the, is on the wish list to play Rad before the character goes. Okay, so I am sourcing non-news. This is just like, wouldn't it be cool? And reportedly and allegedly, but I think it's it, it would be amazing if Rami Malek played the Silver Surfer just because, you know, I, I don't care about looks with superhero characters. I just care about what actor gets to depict them. And I I'm sorry, I think no one's better. He's gonna be the villain in the new James Bond movie. I mean, he won an Oscar last year for playing Freddie Mercury. And <clears throat> if Marvel wants to keep their thing going of hiring like top notch, I would say top notch, not commercial famous people, but borderline commercial A-listers who are better at their craft and, and get to do more as actors. So let me know what you guys think. Could Rami Malek pull off the Silver Surfer or am I way off? If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment like I just asked you to leave a comment. Do you think Rami Malek would be awesome as Silver Surfer? Because we all know this story has no validity to it. 
But I think it's a great idea. And if Marvel could get Rami Malek, I'd be so excited if he would play Silver Surfer. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tell your grandmother. And as I always say, I love you. Bye. Oh, wait, actually, before I go, later this week, we're going to do a new episode of First Time Watching John Wick 2. We're going to continue that John Wick trilogy. Andrew and I watch it for the first time. Cornelio is going to take our questions. And obviously, since John Wick's not really a big mystery movie, it's not. we're not full of questions. But we're going to get into the themes and the theories and obviously what our expectations are for the third one. And even the fourth one that's coming out. Also, this weekend, a new episode of Sports Society. We are finally going to get into these Astros and Major League Baseball and what the F is going on. We're also going to talk about the Michael Vick 30 for 30 and check in on the New York Giants, our good longtime close personal friend, new head coach Joe Judge in the Judge Report. That's Sports Society coming this weekend. First time watching later this week. I love you. Bye. Oh, hey. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment and hit the notification bell. And if you're finding me for the first time, I do trailer reaction videos, uh, hot take movie reviews, news briefs on anything Marvel, DC, Star Wars. You'll love it. Thanks.